Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick review on the Slim Keurig Coffee Brewer for K-Cups. So it is really slim and it looks relatively nice. I just unpacked it. It's got a lot of plastic on it. so It's got this tray that comes out. It's got a drip tray you can clean. This seems... So that's your water reservoir. You're going to take this out, fill it up at the sink. You got to make sure you slide it in this track. So it's kind of cheap feeling, to be honest with you. It's just kind of a lot of plastic. You've got your, you're going to put your K cup in. So be careful with those needles. Okay, so I do like the reservoir. It's got a nice little like carrying handle. And then it's got a max fill line, so you don't want to go above that. Okay, so now we're ready to brew our first cup. So this thing powers on automatically. It's got this handle you're going to lift here. You do not have to turn the power button on. So as soon as you lift this up, it's going to turn it on. You're going to put your cup in there. Then you're going to close the lid. And it has to, those needles have to kind of penetrate. Okay, make sure you've got your coffee cup underneath there. So when you put the lid back down, these flash, so pick what you want, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, or 12 ounce. I'm going to pick 8 ounce, then this one starts to flash, the big K in the middle. Press that, and you can hear it starting to work. It's not super loud, just sounds like a little pump. Okay, so after about 15 seconds, it's starting to brew the cake up. It smells really good. Okay, so it's been about about a minute. The cup's about half full, and the water is mainly clear. It's like I don't know what it is with these K cups, but it seems like as soon as the water goes in them, it gets the stuff out, and then it just kind of sinks hot water to the so. so it is a little noisy towards the end, kind of spitting and sputtering. So that's about a minute twenty seconds, and it's done. It's not dripping anymore. And there you go. Check the temperature. Yeah, that's a really good temperature, about 163. That's about what a standard uh, coffee pot puts out. So it's not extremely hot. Okay, so after you're done brewing, the power light is still on, but it says after five minutes the power light will turn off, so you don't have to um, worry about that, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Lift the lid. Again, be very careful. That needle looks really sharp. But you're going to grab it. So this is kind of hot. You may want to let that um, cool off. Okay, so I don't know if anybody else was curious or not, but I went ahead and cut the top off of it because it felt like there was stuff still in it. Yeah, the coffee grounds are still in there. And um, these are the donut shop ones, regular brew. And it looks like the coffee grounds are pretty well saturated. I've never really dug into these... Um, K cups, but at the bottom of the grounds you've got a coffee, like a coffee filter material. Okay, so in the bottom of these you've got like a little uh, that's a filter material. So these things are really made really intricately. I didn't realize they were that well made. Uh, not super economic, you know, not super environmentally friendly, but boy, they're really made well. The coffee smells really good that you get out of it, and there's the bottom I cut off. And it just pierces a hole into the side. And the top of the lid gets pierced right in the middle. Okay, so I want to show you the reservoir. It's down. It looks like about half almost. I've done two 8-ounce cups. It says it holds 46 ounces. But Okay, sorry I got sidetracked there. So after you brew a, brew a K-cup, it looks relatively clean. Um, it's just got some water condensation around, but it didn't make a huge mess. Okay, so I'm gonna do another cup. So I don't recommend piercing that bottom. I, I let the machine do it. So just set it there. Let the machine do it when you close it. It, it does it no problem. I'm gonna do a 12 ounce this time. Okay, so in order to do the 12 ounce, I've got to remove this tray so that my bigger one, my travel mug. Okay, and it fits in there just right. Okay, so if your travel mug's bigger than seven and a half inches, you might have a problem. Well, actually, about if your travel cup's bigger than seven inches, you're going to have a problem. 
So I've got the 12 ounce picked and I just press the brew. Okay, right at the minute 40, about a minute 40 seconds, it's done. And it fills, it almost fills up a travel mug. Okay, so temperature might be a little hotter with the uh, 12 ounces, a little more fluid or something, but yeah, it is a little hotter, 175. So I just want to do it, I just want to show you as you lower this, that arm grabs the cup and kind of pushes it down to pierce the bottom first. And now you're going to pierce the top. Relatively very easy. It's got this add water light. I'm going to see if it comes on. So I did a 12 ounce in a coffee mug. Uh, it looks, it doesn't fill it completely all the way up. That's a pretty big coffee mug, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so at the end of that one, two, three, fourth, Basically, fourth brew, the add water light is flashing. And I still have some water in there. I'm not sure how it's sensing it. But it is flashing the add water button. Now it's on steady. Okay, so I told you the add water light's flashing. I put another K cup in. I'm going to try to brew when it says add water. It won't let you. So you're sp first supposed to select these, and it's not going to let you till you add water. Okay, so the cord is not super long. It's kind of rigid, but there is no co cord storage. Okay, so what they've got a, a Keurig machine that does everything this thing does, but it's just bulkier. This one is the, the slim, and they're selling it this year, um, I guess, for countertop space. But I can see a problem. If you've got it under a cabinet, getting this water out a little tricky so you might have to keep um, pulling it in and out if you're underneath a cabinet now if you're over here next to a cabinet might do a little better so yeah I've got it over here that's a little easier to fill up but I got this cord that looks awful so yeah I can see that being the the issue because uh, lifting it up but the main thing is getting you got to have some you got to have some height because you got to get it in a track just set it back here or it won't go on the track so you've got to have some height above you for that and then this lid just kind of just keeps dust out so again everyone this is just a dad I want to thank you for watching my video overall this is uh, it's very functional very quiet very fast but it just seems a little cheap to me everything I everything I touch that comes apart just kind of feels cheap from the lid you know, the only thing that doesn't feel cheap is this area right here that does the actual work. But. So again, this is Just a Dad, and would you please like and subscribe? And thank you again for watching.